anti or they have that aging questionnaire, right? Well, here is a project that just popped into my head. Maybe uh, at the Institute we can promote that aging questionnaire and get thousands of more answers because uh, get, uh, knowing what the attitudes of people are out there uh, is going to help in any uh, anti-aging research and any anti-aging therapies that come along in the future. Uh, but also we have ongoing projects uh, in the action form and the leap form also is another place uh, to uh, contribute ideas for uh, how you can uh, do better, uh, do more advocacy uh, for rejuvenation therapies, things like that. Um, and I see Sven in the in the uh, chat asks anyone could add a topic about HJB in the projects forum. That is a good idea, Sven. I think that we could do that uh, as a project is uh, promote or help find peer reviewers uh, for the Heels Journal of Biogerontology because I think it is a good idea. And uh, I mean, I'm, and I hope that it comes along and matures. So that would be uh, something anyone can put that in the project's forum and say, uh, this is what we want to do with HJB, uh, the Heels Journal. Uh, you might have to spell out, you know, what type of help that is needed. I know that you need peer reviewers. Maybe this would just be an effort to find some peer reviewers. Maybe we could do a coordinated effort uh, to find some uh, some people to help out in that regard. But whatever you might need to help out the Heels Journal, you can post there in it in the ideas section or the uh, project section. Uh, we can get something going. Something else too, in case you haven't noticed, uh, and that is a nice little page that Eric put together. Thanks so much, Eric. Um, Immens.org slash TV. Yeah, you can watch this program at that at that webpage. Uh, Immens.org slash TV. You get the streaming video. There's links to other videos, other uh, documentaries, and other media. And this chat is also, the text chat, the IRC chat, is embedded in that page as well. Thank you so much, Eric. Wonderful job getting that going. Uh, another little resource that you can check out. Uh, in your spare time. And uh, we've got a lot of other things going on at the Institute, but that's all I have uh, prepared uh, for tonight. I see Sven has also mentioned that uh, most important, they need more papers for the HEALS Journal of Biogerontology. So uh, that's something, they need peer reviewers and they need people submitting some papers. Uh, so uh, let's uh, focus on that a little bit and you're always free, Sven, to announce those uh, needs in the institute forums, or uh, whether in the project forum or other forums, uh, if you need to put out a call for some help, uh, please do. You know, I, don't, I can never guarantee that we're going to have a lot of guarantee, uh, a lot of volunteers that are going to all of a sudden jump right in and be able to, uh, you know, produce more papers or uh, peer reviewers. Uh, but it is worth a try, and it is another outlet. Uh, perhaps where we can find some people to help out. Okay, that is the official end of the recorded portion of our Sunday evening update on the Sunday, May 3rd. I want to let you know that so far for next week, I do not have a guest for May 10th. Uh, it is Mother's Day. I don't have anything special planned. Otherwise, I'm going to send mom some flowers and a gift and some candy and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, but I don't have a guest at this point, but you never know when I'm going to come up with a guest. We've been on more of a rotation every other week lately for guests, but I have had confirmation from Ben Best, the Cryonics Institute uh, director or executive, I, I don't know what position he exactly holds right now, but he's from the Cryonics, Cryonics Institute. We haven't had a Cryonics special on the Sunday evening update recently, so uh, look for that coming up. I believe he said in June he would be available. We'll have a uh, cryonics special on the Sunday evening update. I've also been talking with a few other people, uh, Dr. Olshansky from uh, the University of Illinois Chicago and Peter Passaro from uh, the University of Reading in England. You know, I'm really dying to get him on for a brain-computer interfacing uh, show, uh, Sunday evening update that focuses on that because that is really an exciting uh, area that has been uh, growing by leaps and bounds recently and certainly is pertinent to the future, isn't it? Okay, once again, lastly, I want to thank uh, Kelsey Moody uh, from SENS AIU for appearing on the show for tonight. And I also want to thank everyone else for stopping by and for a couple of the questions that you submitted. Remember, whenever we have a guest here on the Sunday Evening Update, 
you can participate you can ask questions and we can have a good time here so that's it for this sunday may 3rd